all of the great leaders have had one characteristic in common. It was the willingness to confront unequivocally the major anxiety of their people in their time. John Kenneth Galbraith Mary Barra may be facing one of those times. The question that remains is, will this crisis be the defining moment that will cement her as a great leader? During times of crisis, a great leader needs to confront reality, keep stakeholders focused on the big picture, value teamwork, and most importantly, make things happen. Trust is the glue that holds an organization together. A leader during a crisis is challenged to live by the values that have been communicated. Think Johnson & Johnson CEO James Burke during the Tylenol crisis, when he decided to recall the product because he was concerned about the safety of people. It was a very, very smart decision and helped the profitability of the company. It was a big deal, big decision. Now, watch the video and let us know how is Mary Barra doing? What else should she say or not say? I'd like to provide an update on where things stand with the ignition switch recall. Scrutiny of the recall has expanded beyond the review by the federal regulators at NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. As of now, two congressional committees have announced that they will examine the issue. And it's been reported that the Department of Justice is looking into this matter. In each case, we have pledged to cooperate fully while we work to make the recall itself as smooth as possible for our customers. These are serious developments that shouldn't surprise anyone. After all, something went wrong with our process in this instance, and terrible things happened. As a member of the GM family and as a mom with a family of my own, this really hits home for me. We have apologized, but that is just one step in the journey to resolve this. In my last message, I outlined the measures we are implementing to take care of our customers and to ensure it does not happen again. Since then, we mailed recall letters to affected owners on March 10th and 11th, and we will send a recall service bulletin to dealers the week of April 7th. These letters and bulletins will explain the issue and the process for getting the switches replaced. As soon as possible, we'll also send follow-up letters to customers to let them know that parts are available and that should start the second week of April. In fact, we are adding a second production line at our supplier to allow us to double parts availability. In addition, we have a team of more than 50 employees in Warren at our Customer Engagement Center, and they are 100% dedicated to handling the calls about the recall. We've also added a number of resources at our other call centers. And our customer-facing communicators on the web, social media, and elsewhere have been trained to handle inquiries to support this issue. Our dealers are empowered to address customer concerns on a case-by-case -case basis. That includes providing loaner vehicles and additional cash for those customers in the market for a new vehicle. I want you to know that we are completely focused on the problem at the highest levels of the company, and we are putting the customer first, and that is guiding every decision we make. That is how we want today's GM to be judged. How we handle the recall will be an important test of that commitment. But it cannot stop there. We need to continue on the path of putting the customer first in everything we do. It's not something that only gets decided by senior leadership. We all have to own it. Our system for deciding and managing recalls is going to change because of this. And we're using this opportunity to change much more about our business. We are redoubling our pending product reviews bringing them forward and resolving them quickly. In fact, we just communicated three recalls of some GMC Savannah and Chevrolet Express vans, certain Cadillac XTS cars, and some Buick Enclave, Chevrolet Traverse, GMC Acadia, and Saturn Outlook crossovers. We will take care of all these customers and continue to apply what we have learned. This announcement underscores the focus we're putting on safety and peace of mind of our customers. We are conducting an intense review of our internal processes, and we will have more developments to announce as we move forward. The bottom line is we will be better because of this tragic situation if we seize the opportunity. And I believe we will do just that. We are a great team, and we are making the best cars and trucks and crossovers in decades, and we are getting better. 
we will be diligent in helping our customers through these recalls and helping the authorities with their reviews. Meanwhile, I ask everyone to stay focused on making today's GM the best it can be. Thank you very much for your time.